So this is a story about one night me working at the club and a girl, very innocent looking girl, I could tell she wasn't, she wasn't a customer, but she came straight up to me and then proceeded to tell me that her boyfriend's best friend is getting married and his bachelor party was that evening. And so she needed to round up three girls that she thought would be his type. Of course I'm flattered and I asked her, well, how much money are we talking about here? So then she says, a thousand dollars a girl. Done, done, done. So I help her round up another two girls. Of course, they're friends of mine. So the three of us were super excited to just earn an easy grand. And we were told it would probably take an hour and the house where the bachelor party was um, being held out was about 15 minutes away from the club. So perfect, we can hop on over to the uh, house and then go right back to the club. Pfft, no problem. Except there was a problem. Reminder, this is a very small town in Waikiki. Three guesses, three guesses on who was at this bachelor party that I... It was my 16 year old crush. Okay, a little backstory. So my very first job was at a place called Showbiz Pizza. Call it the poor man's Chuck E. Cheese. This is before Chuck E. Cheese. It was called Showbiz Pizza. I was 16 years old. It was my first job with a paycheck. And it was there that I met Patrick. Patrick was older. I would say early 20s. Mm, maybe a freshman in college. Maybe 19. He was definitely older than me. I felt protected by him. Do you know that feeling? Like when you're a young girl, I was still 16, right? I'm a young girl, here's a nice looking guy, very gentlemanly, and it took me under his wing. He trained me, and eventually our working together ended up hanging out after work, but it wasn't just he and I. It was a group of us, so there would be like four or five of us drinking beer, sitting on the sidewalk, Patrick was would bring out his guitar. Would have been really cool if there was nobody else there, but you know, it was a friend, it was all a friend thing, a group friend thing. Patrick and I, every time we hung out, would have these really deep conversations, what our dreams were about, um, you know, what we wanted to be when we grew up, that kind of a thing. And he always knew I wanted to be a creative person, a writer, a dancer. And because he was older, he would talk about school, he would talk about, you know, the path that he was taking. After I left Showbiz Pizza, I never saw Patrick again. I never forgot him. I always wondered what happened to him. Here I am, now I'm in my early to mid-twenties. And the first person I see when I walk into this bachelor party house is fucking Patrick. And it was a new feeling. It was that feeling of, oh my God. This isn't normal. This isn't something that every girl does. So how do you think this whole thing plays out? So bring on the shame. I didn't really have anything to be ashamed of, but the last time Patrick saw me, I was 16. I was wearing a top hat, a bow tie, an apron around me behind the ticket counter, you know, where the kids turn in the tickets that they win at the foosball. Yeah, that was me. So Patrick comes up to me. I'm still flustered. Oh, this is what you're doing now. Nice to see you. So my other girlfriends are looking at me like, who is this dude? And I just tell him, it's cool, it's cool. He's somebody I knew from uh, high school. He didn't go to my high school, but you know. I'm freaking out, wondering how the hell am I going to be naked in front of Patrick, my 16-year-old crush. So the girls are dancing, everyone's having a good time. Everybody was very respectful, everybody was tipping. It seemed to be a seemingly good night. Except for one small thing. I couldn't do it. I couldn't take my clothes off in front of Patrick. And Patrick knew it. So what did he do? He very nonchalantly steps away from the crowd and walks outside. Nobody even noticed because of the girls, right? Except I noticed. I was so grateful. He knew I was there to do a job. He knew I was there to make money. He knew I was nervous. After everything wrapped, we were getting up our belongings. We were getting ready to leave. And I made sure to find Patrick to thank him. And Patrick, if you're out there, I wish I knew your last name because I would thank you so much for always being a stand-up guy, being a great gentleman, and respecting the sisterhood of the stripper world. And I promise you, there's no reason to be disappointed. We're fucking kicking.